great day. You're listening to the podcast, She Who Believes, and I am your host, Vivian Bell, and I am indeed she who believes. Well, t- the title of today's podcast is The Microwave. I know, right? Well, I know that you, many of you have heard it said that this is the microwave generation. Um, it's funny because I've been hearing that for uh, some years now. And um, it's that said because it's, it's stated that this generation wants everything now. This current generation wants everything at its fingertips, right? I, am, I personally am very blessed to have um, been created, called a purpose to be in the earth during the time where the microwave did not exist (laughs) and then when the microwave was created and I understand how older generations before me they compare the times and they will often just shake their heads at the fact that the current generation seems to think that the microwave is the way to go right many only know the microwave though many only know iPods and iPhones and all manners of iness <laughs> where everything is literally at their fingertips. Now, in most instances, if the option for microwave versus oven baked is a choice, my choice is always oven baked. Um, even when I have to heat up and warm up my food, um, I will literally turn on the oven and put my food in some aluminum foil or on an aluminum pan or in a pan that's oven safe. And I will warm up my food. Why? Why is that my choice? I choose that because the taste is genuine. And what I mean by that, the temperature of my food has this deep down heat, right? Um, It lasts so much longer than if you warm your food up in the microwave. And I love my food hot. I love the taste of the right now uh, that, that, that it's just it's just been baked it just has been cooked right um, but then there are those instances where things only have a now option where they are only microwavable they are only created for right here right now heat up right um, there is microwave popcorn which I actually grew to love um, because your girl likes some popcorn and um, to a uh, bit to stand over the stove and put the oil in the pan and uh, shake around the popcorn little things I don't know if you guys remember um, it was the, probably the closest thing to um, microwave popcorn that existed for me as a child um, you would buy this Jiffy Pop and it came in what was in essence a aluminum pie pan right and um you would take the the little cardboard top off and there was this pop pan that had um, this covering over it and it had this little metal handle and you would put it over the heat on the stove um, sometime, for, for us it was the fire on the stove because my grandpa had a, a gas stove and you would shake it around and move it over the heat so that the kernels did not get burned um, but as you shook it around over the heat, it would pop, right? And pop, 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 pop. And before you knew it, you had these popcorn. Um, you might be thinking, what in the world is she talking about? And why is she talking about microwave popcorn and an actual microwave on a podcast created to discuss faith? Well, that is because it is time for you to have some now faith. Just like you want things done now and you put them in the microwave and you turn them off for two minutes or three minutes because you need things to be done in a hurry. It is time for you to have some right now, present in this moment, faith. It is important that you continue to stand by faith, in faith, on the word of God and on the promises that he's made you. Um, Recently, we've talked about shaking, right? That was the title of one of the podcasts about how so many things seem to be getting moved around, shaken up, um, whether it's relationships, situations, um, just things that are taking place in the world. 
um, it seems like there's this shaking, right? But I need you to understand that right now it's important for you to stand in faith and to continue to be she who believes. There are things that are happening now. There are things that you have been believing God for and waiting for and trusting him for. And now is the time for those things to manifest in your life. But you've got to hold fast to your faith. Now, one of the things that's really important that I said earlier about things that were created to be microwaves, many of those things were pre-cooked. They're already baked. Um, Like we study the word of God. We spend time with God. We prepare ourselves for life with God, right? And it's a daily thing that we're doing. And in every moment of our lives, we are communing with God in some way, whether we are communicating with him to let him know that he's not important to us. He's not a priority because we're too busy to do uh, the things necessary to cultivate the relationship with him. Or we're telling him that, hey, you're everything to me. You are first in my life. And when I say these things, I am not um, telling you to have a cookie cutter relationship with God, to look at things that you see on Instagram, to look at other people and think, okay, I'm just going to do what they're doing. But I'm talking about a real life, doing it because you want this life with God, because you want to have this, this faith walk and you want it to be just filled with his glory and his power and his peace and to see miracle signs and wonders performed in the earth that you are preparing that you're going ahead that you're preparing this food that you're preparing your life for the now miracle moments this is not a time for you to give up it's just not Don't allow yourself to be moved by what you see and even by what God has said to you. And you might think, why would I get moved by what God said to me? Well, let's talk about our staple scripture, Luke 1 and verse 45, where it says, Blessed is she who has believed that there will be a performance of the things that the Lord has said to her. So we talk about that. We talked about that for five seasons, for five years on this podcast and about how Mary was brave and she said, okay, be it unto me as you have said. Like, I'm cool. I'm rolling with what you have said, right? But these now moments, they're not always easy, right? Um, It might seem like, hey, but that was a glorious thing for her to say, hey, I won't birth the savior of the world. It wasn't. It was as scary as your, your now is, right? Right in this moment. When you are in that home stretch, of seeing the things that God has promised you come to fruition. It feels scary. It feels um, at times unreal. Um, It's difficult to at times just hold fast to what he said to you, right? Because you feel all these things and you see all these things. But your agreement right now in this moment has still got to be yes to God. It has still got to be one that is full of faith. It just has to be one that's full of faith. So you can't, of course, um, mm, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. So the word of God tells us that the Lord has given each man a measure of faith. So it's pre-cooked. It's been baked in like um, it's been prepared, like the microwave popcorn have been placed inside of, mm, thank you, Lord, the proper materials, the proper bag, the proper oils for the microwave that's already there in the bag with the kernels. Like when you buy it, you literally got everything you need for microwave popcorn inside this bag, right? And all you have to do (laughs) is put it on the right side up, put it on the right timing, which sometimes the timing thing's a little messed up, right? 
because you, it depends on the size of your microwave, the megahertz in your microwave, and all of that on whether or not the popcorn come out perfect, right? Well, God has placed, he's given you a measure of faith. So the faith that's required to please him, the faith that's required for this season of your life, the now faith that you need, it's already on the inside of you. He's literally given you every tool that you need to stand and to see the things he's promised you. And because his timing is perfect, we've got to trust him right now in this season to know that he is the perfecter of the popping of our corn. <laughs> this, the, he's the perfecter of all the things that he's put on the inside of us. And at the perfect time, that door is going to open and we can, we can stick our hand in and pull out that perfect bag of popcorn. I'm relaying, yes, a microwave bag of popcorn to your faith. Do not give up in this season. Do not stop believing. God, hold fast to your faith. I know it seems it seems like, hey, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. You, you may not know exactly when it's going to be the perfect time to eat this bag of popcorn to take it out and to have it be just what it's supposed to be. But you have to trust the one who gave the instructions. Because really, if you read the box of popcorn, it'll tell you that the timing may vary. It will tell you that it's based on the megahertz or the the uh, the watts, the watts of your microwave, and you have to adjust the time accordingly. Well, it's the same with us and our purpose in life. Literally, God has given us everything we need, and there may have to be some adjustments, and um, there may have to be some time extended for one uh, for one microwave than it is for another. For instance, you might see someone else receiving or walking in what God has promised them. And it seems like it happened for them so quickly. Yet your microwave, your your bag of popcorn is still popping. All your kernels haven't been brought to their full perfection, right? Still don't get discouraged because if you follow the instructions, your popcorn will do just what it's supposed to do. So, again, trust God. Believe Him. Trust His timing. And always have now faith. So not only does Hebrews 11 and 1 talk to us about now faith, I want to share with you Revelations 1 and 8. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is which was, which is to come. Now, how does this scripture relate? I wanted to remind you that God is, he's always present. He's always now. He was because he was there in the other person's now. And he is that which is to come, which is in your now. Whenever your now moment is, God is right there. He's perfected that moment just for you. So remain in now faith. For the now God who's always present in every moment, in every season, knowing exactly when to stop the microwave and to say, your due season is now. Enjoy this harvest. You've listened to the podcast, She Who Believes. I am your host, Vivian Bell, and I am indeed she who believes.